Hey everybody, it's Grace, and today's going to be my five products under $5, and the beginning kind of got cut off, but let's just get started. And there's a wasp, and I'm really scared. There was a wasp the last time I was outside in my one-by-one one review, so it's come back. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my top five that are under $5, then just keep watching. The first product I have is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, and if you guys didn't know, this is one of my top favorite powders, and it is under five bucks, obviously. I think it's around like two or three dollars, and let me just tell you guys, this powder is perfect. Um, it's perfectly matte, and I'm in silky beige, you know, silky beige, and I love this powder. Whenever somebody's like, Grace, what powder do you recommend? I'm like, Rimmel Stay Matte, obviously. Do you watch my videos? Do you listen to me talk about it? I love this powder. Um, I do like to use a loose powder too. So I go in between between I go in between this powder and my NYC loose powder, but if I had to pick one, this baby would be my favorite. And I I've made a couple like dent marks in it, like um, fingernail marks on accident when I was like trying to put the cap on my fingers like jabbed into it so yeah but I love this powder and there's no other words but it's amazing so yeah I definitely recommend this and I love it the next product I have is the elf all over color stick and this is in pink lemonade I for some reason am obsessed with this here it is. It's so pretty. Let's see if it swatched. Yep. Yeah. There we go. It's so pigmented. It's like the perfect blush. It smells like kind of like raspberry-ish. And you can put this on your lips, eyes, and cheeks. But I like it on my cheeks. It really dries out my lips. And it blends in pretty well. I mean, it's a stick blush. So, like, it's going to kind of pull your skin a little bit. But other than that, I love it. And it just kind of soaks into my skin perfectly. Like the Dream Bouncy Blush, but I think that's like six bucks, six or seven, so I can't put it in here. But I do love this blush, and a lot of people don't like e.l.f. just because it's so cheap, and people are like, oh, I hate e.l.f. But for some reason, e.l.f. just clicks to me. It's just perfect. So I love this stick blush, and I highly recommend it to all of you guys that are looking for that perfect blush. The next product I have is the NYC Trio, and this is in Central Park Plums. I love this trio. This, like, the eyeshadow line of NYC is amazing. This is by far my favorite um, color trio, and it just comes with a highlighter, base, and crease. And these colors are really pigmented. Here's the burgundy. Here's the lid color. And here's the highlighting. Like, I don't even know what to say about these colors, but they're amazing. And these, this trio in general, any color is perfect. And I use this all the time for my eyes. Um, I go in and out between this and my fall look. And if you don't know me, I love kind of the look of pinks on my eyes. I just think they look good with any eye color. And yeah, I really like this trio and it's very affordable. It's like two or three dollars. And yeah, I really recommend this because it's amazing. The next product is the Extra Wow Lash by Rumble London. And I have been obsessed with Rumble London for some reason. Like, whenever I pick up a product, I always end up liking it. It's so weird. I used to think Maybelline was my favorite, but I kind of switched over to Rimmel after getting this mascara and that powder. Uh, me and my friend both got this mascara, and she doesn't really like it that much because it hers dried out, but mine's somewhere in between dry and wet, so it's just, like, perfect. But I got mine in black, and definitely this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras right next to the Rocket and the Maybelline one by one so if you guys are looking for a great mascara that's under five dollars I definitely go recommend checking out this one or any Rimmel um, mascara is great so I really like this and it's amazing and the packaging is so cute it's the flag and I'm obsessed with it so 
yeah, I really like this and definitely recommend it. The next products are the last product of the day, which is very sad, but it's my favorite lip product. And these are the Maybelline Baby Lips. I have like nine of them, but I'm only showing you three. These are my top three favorite. And these are so affordable. Like, if I had one makeup product to choose, like, one line, it would be lip products in the Maybelline Baby Lips. Because they give the perfect tint of color, like, Cherry Me is just perfect. It's the perfect red. I just had to put it on, I don't know why. And it smells so good. And then Pink Shock is also really great. It's, like, a really pretty fuchsia color. And it smells like watermelon. It smells like Melon Mania. And then Quench is the clear one, which is also amazing if you just want a light gloss. And this has SPF 20 in it, but these sadly don't. But I love these. They are so moisturizing, and they give off um, a very good color payoff for being lip balms because they're not lipsticks, which I know lots of people think they are, and like they're like hate Maybelline baby lips, but. They're lip balms, so you can't really hate them. They're not supposed to be that pigmented. Um, I have three of the Electro and then a couple of the normal ones. And I definitely want to get all of them because it's just a great line. And if you guys haven't tried these out yet, you definitely need to. That was the end of my top five under five. So if you guys want me to do a top ten under ten, then comment down below because I love doing these kind of videos. And yeah, before the first time that I started filming, there's these people over there and they were like staring at me. I was like, yo, I'm going to film just because I'm that cool. Cause I don't care what people think of me. I don't care. Um, but I also want to say thank you for almost 40 subscribers. I know I have 37 and I had 39, but two people unsubscribed, but whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you next time. Bye.